Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Carrie's Wreath Creations. I'm here today to show you how to make a cone petal for a flower style wreath. So this petal is, uh, it turns out really pretty. It looks very uh, complex, even though the fold is pretty simple. So I'm gonna show you how to do that today. I'm gonna be working with poly burlap. It has been cut into a 10 by 10 inch square. Um, and I do have, uh, just for reference, my factory edges are here and my cut edges are here. Again, I did use the wood burning tool in order to prevent fray. Um, other items you're gonna probably want for this is I recommend a clip that helps with the folding. And then obviously you're gonna want, if you're making a wreath, you're gonna wanna have your border, your frame ready to go. Um, if you're making your petals all in advance, then you might want some little rubber bands or something, maybe a, a clip of some sort even a clip like this would probably work um, in order to hold your petals together. So if you want to pre-make them and then load them onto the frame or into the board when you're done, that will work. So let's get started. I have my 10 by 10 inch piece. It is curl up. It's hard to tell in the video. It is curling slightly. It comes on a roll. I tend to try to flatten these out as much as I can. So that's why you're not seeing a whole lot of curl. So again, here are my factory edges. Here are my cut edges. I'm going to go ahead and turn this into a diamond shape. And then what I'm gonna do is bring my bottom up to meet the top, okay? So I'm folding this into a triangle just like this, okay? I'm gonna go ahead and utilize my clip to keep the top together. It is two layers now that we fold it in half and it, the petal just looks um, cleaner and neater if the top stays together, okay? So you wanna line up the sides you best, the best you can, okay? All right, until you have your triangle. Now, two options here. You wanna find the center of the bottom. You can either look at the top and just sort of run your finger down and that's where the, that's where the middle of the bottom is. Or if you wanted to, you could fold this in half. Just give it a little bit of a press and you should be able to see sort of the crease that you created in order to find the bottom. Either way is fine, okay? What you're gonna to wanna to do then is take one of these ends, okay? And fold it in to meet the middle of the bottom, just like that. Okay, now I went slightly past middle because I wanna have something to hold on to here, okay? Because I wanna do the same thing then on the other side. So take your other end and bring that in. And again, just a tiny, the tiniest little bit of overlap, okay? So then you have what sort of looks like an envelope. If I put this down, it would sort of look like an envelope. It looks like an open envelope, okay? Then what you wanna do is again, we wanna, we want to have that word know where that middle is. You're going to take this side and just fold it in to meet the middle, just like that. Okay. And same thing over here. And this time I'm not going past center. I'm going to just meet them exactly where they, where they're touching. Okay. So you don't want to overlap them at all. Okay. And then I tend to turn this to my side just because I'm right-handed. I turn it to its side and I scrunch along the bottom just like this. Okay, and then I can take my clip off. As you can see, this is two layers, but because we used the clip, it kept that together. And we have this cool little like rolled looking technique sort of thing going on. So it looks like, um, you know, it, it looks a little bit more complicated than some of the other petals, but really it's, it's pretty simple to do. So then you'd either want to put it into the board or if you're pre-making all your petals, I'm gonna take my little elastic band I'm not working on anything right now where I need this, but I can have this pedal all ready to go for later. Once you have the band on or once it's in the board, if you wanted to kind of spread these out a little bit, um, you know, kind of put your finger in there and sort of refluff them if you needed to, um, but you just make that little adjustment if needed. And that is your cone pedal. I hope you found this video helpful. Please feel free to subscribe to me here on YouTube for other pedal technique tutorials. I also have full length tutorials. I have Facebook Lives that I've taken off of Facebook and put on here to show you how I make uh, many of my wreaths, so please feel free to subscribe. You can also check the description box below, which will give you information about all of my social media, Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, and TikTok. You can find me at Carrie's Wreath Creations. Um, I have an Etsy shop, which is linked there as well, and then I do have affiliate links for Unique in the Creek, which makes these boards. They also provide um, or supply poly burlap and different kinds of uh, mesh and other supplies. And then I also do have an Amazon affiliate shop. Thanks again for watching everybody. Take care till next time. Bye.